What is going on guys, Skits here back with yet another short and sweet guide for World of Warcraft Legion and today I wanted to briefly go over what gold making add-ons I'm using right now. I'm not going to go too in depth in each because I want to make this short and sweet so you guys can actually download them, look them up, research them and if you would like to you know, fully go through with any of the add-ons that I go over right now that I'm using for gold making, you can do that and kind of read up on it so you get the best um, I guess info and you can take full advantage of each add-on so I'm gonna go over two four six eight nine of the add-ons that I use for gold making this is not all of my add-ons that I use for WoW but just strictly the ones that I make that help me make more gold so I'm clearing a hundred thousand gold per day very very easy and I'm gonna go over right now um, the add-ons that I'm using to do that so first and foremost these are in no particular order I use auctionator for my auction house add-on now you can use either tsm which i recommend if you're brand new to gold making and there's no um you know limitation on you sitting down to actually fully understand and learn an auction house add-on i would definitely recommend uh, using tsm picking that up i use auctionator because it also is uh, super lightweight the learning curve is a little bit less than tsm and i've been playing wow for over 10 years and i think when i first came on the gold making scene i picked up auctionator instead of tsm so i'm comfortable with that and in the current markets i'm in right now it does the job so tsm is more catered towards people that want to snipe auctions or set up you know multiple lists and there's a lot of features accounting features with tsm that you get over auctionator so you can use one or the other but you definitely definitely need either auctionator or tsm number two is postal so postal which um basically is your mailbox add-on in patch 7.2 which is coming here in a, a couple months they're going to give you blizzard is going to give you the stock option to actually open all of your mail at one point in time so if you click right now on your mailbox and you do not have any add-ons you're going to open up your mail one by one by one right so what postal allows you to do is send multiple items at once and open multiple items at once so if you just right click the mailbox i wish i had something else here in here uh in the actual mailbox right now but you can click on open all and it will run through up to 50 pages of you know auctions that sold or that didn't sell anything in your mailbox that is being sent to you it opens it all at once so it's very very slick it saves you a lot of time so you can get um, back to gold farming or gold making also you can send multiple items you can send uh if you click for instance if you control and left click on an item here it will put all of that same item in there so there's a lot of awesome features to postal i'll let you guys read up on that and take full advantage of that but that is the mailbox add-on that i use the third add-on we're going to go over is called bag non so basically what this does is it organizes all of your bags into one central location so when you just click simply left click on one of your bags any of them it will bring up everything and then you can deselect certain bags and turn some on and off by left clicking so again i'm not going to go into this uh, in depth I just want to make this short and sweet so you guys can see what actually I'm using. And if you choose to download that and don't have one of these add-ons, you can, you know, uh, learn about them and, and get into the guts of what each one does. So you can also, very, very slick, if you click this, it cleans up your bag. So a lot of cool options with Bagnon. You guys can check that one out. The fourth add-on is called Crap Away. Excuse my language. This, basically what this does is every time you open up your... Um, vendor to sell anything it will automatically vendor all of the gray items that you have so nobody needs grays maybe like a weird transom log from time to time but for the most part when you're farming or grinding something and you come back you open up so right here I gave you guys an example here's some grays up top here in my bag if I open up my uh, yak here to vendor and just simply open up the repair guy As you can see here, crap away, the add-on just cleared out all of these grays for me. You don't have to do it yourself and you don't have to search through your bags to kind of get through and uh, you know find everything that you don't need. So that's super, super awesome. That add-on again is called crap away. The fifth add-on is called easy obliterate. You guys are familiar with this. I have a specific 
guide for this on my YouTube channel you can check out, but what this allows you to do is obliterate items and you can left click and right click to deselect ones that you do not want to obliterate, but it will let you, for instance, let's put these in there, the quick, oh, excuse me, the quick uh, Zoonite, and we can auto select, so when we obliterate, we can keep spam clicking this instead of dragging and dropping and clicking. So easy obliterate just allows you to obliterate items a lot faster. Moving on, GatherMate 2 and GatherMate 2 data. So basically anytime I'm out here farming, so let's go to Azuna for example, all of these nodes, if I zoom in, the fell slate deposits, the laystone, they are recorded on there because once you enter into a zone and you go out here and mine or herb for an example, it will forever track where you picked up those uh, vines from. So basically, if you go out here and pick laystone deposits, fell slate deposits all morning, and you leave with GatherMate and the GatherMate 2 data together, it allows you to save on your map where all of these uh, nodes are. So on your mini map as well, there will be a little icons and show you you know where you previously picked nodes but this basically tells you if you ever forget and open up your map you know where did i go that one morning or one afternoon to farm a lot of xyz server hop this add-on is amazing i live by this if you go to my channel and check out all of my ore videos where i'm farming massive amounts of ore this is because and with server hop here this legally allows you to transfer realm to realm with your character and look for either you know world bosses that are up or quests that you can't find or more importantly nodes for farming so you know fox flower or fell slate you guys get the picture and i have a specific video on this for you guys to check it out you're familiar with either server hop or cross realm assist but basically what this does is if you're in an area where there's um, no, for instance, fell slate, for an example, you can hit random here. It will take you to another realm. And if the realm that it took you to has players in the area, it will successfully transfer you to their realm, which you hop to, to mine or herb, you know, so on and so forth. So if that sounds kind of confusing, there's a video on my channel, server hop and how to use it properly, but amazing, amazing add on, probably my favorite and most needed add-on for gold making server hop 100%. Moving on, we have TomTom. Tom. So really, really lightweight add-on, it's amazing. And basically what TomTom Tom does is in the top right-hand corner of the map here, let me um, kind of blow this up here. You'll be able to see, let's go to Suramar for an example. And if I wanna tell somebody or I need to know where a specific point on the map is, Let's go down here to this quest, uh, continued exposure. And I have no idea where it is, or I wanna tell somebody else where it was, and this actual icon's not here. If you look up in the top right-hand corner, I'll highlight it here in the video, you can see that the cursor will tell you the coordinates. So 3380 are the coordinates to this quest, and it basically is just a coordinate add-on for you to have, so if you, um, don't know, for instance, basically what happens if there's a boss in a cave, okay, for an example. You go up, you try to kill it, but you're on top of the cave or you're somewhere where you're not supposed to be. You're like, hey guys, does anybody have the coordinates to the entrance to the cave? Somebody, you know, in trade chat or general chat or wherever will give you the coordinates. You open up TomTom, Tom, look for the coordinates, match them up, find the entrance to the cave. Boom, boom, chachi, you're done. So super lightweight add-on. Again, it's called TomTom. Tom. You guys need to scoop that up. Last but not least, World Quests list. There's a couple add-ons for your World Quest add-on, but I love World Quests list. Say that five times fast. So basically what this does is to the right here, as you can see this, you can open up and sort by you know how much time you have left to complete it which zone which faction the rewards it gives you all kinds of good stuff but it lays it out for you so you can see nice and easy right here on the right side and then if you want to click on one specifically it'll take you you know right over to where it's at so those are my gold making add-ons again if you have any questions with any of these 
put that question in the comments below. I will knock it out as quickly and as efficiently as possible. Like, share, most importantly, subscribe if you have not. I go live every single night, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the States, twitch.tv slash itskits. I will see you guys in the next video. I love y'all. I'm out of here. Peace.